then I got you, I trust you Ain't really shit that you could do, I never say fuck you If you my dog, then I got you, I trust you Ain't really shit that you could do, I never say fuck you And if I got it, you got it, won't ever let you struggle Won't never throw it in your face when you tell me your troubles No, I'ma take it to the grave, bury it with a shovel No, I'ma make it, just watch me fill the pop like a bubble Mind out for life, how we bleeding forever, no, I love you And we get flat on these bitches, they slip and leave a puddle Loyalty get you killed for real But somehow for my dog, I feel like we forever live You have my back to whatever, like you my mama kid Don't need a sober when you with me, we be super lit Ain't never had to care about shit, cause that's just how we live Don't care about fame, cause that ain't never gonna change who I am My dog, my dog, they love us, but they want not me And fuck a nigga and a bitch, we never won't commit Nah Girl, not for real, y'all, what's up? It's Lily Coleman, back with another video and yeah, I know y'all like, girl, why did you change your channel? Who is Shia and what is my dog and what? Look, what? Not for real though. I'm finna explain everything. I'm finna, yeah, I'm finna explain to y'all all what happened and what's new, what we gonna be doing, who is Shia, who is Lily. I'm finna just explain it all. And it's like an update. Flash Mother's Day, y'all. Today is Mother's Day, so to everybody, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> mm. Yeah, for real. Hey, y'all, my name is Wait, Wait, let me see my mom's Okay, y'all, so. Girl, let me see something. Hey, y'all, my name's Shia. And. Yeah. Hey, y'all, my name's Shia. 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 Hey, y'all, my name is Shia. Hey, y'all, my name is Shia. Hey, Period. It's Shia. Period. Right, and we here for the we finna do a mug bang because it ain't Mother's Day. And my our mama, she threw in the kitchen. She threw down. Period. And I like blue cheese on my fish. Y'all comment below and tell me if that's nasty or not because I think it's so that's fat. That's disgusting. But I just think it's so fat. It's nasty. I just think it's so fat. Oh y'all. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Who are you? I just introduced myself. Oh my god. My name is Shia. Okay, y'all. So I'm finna do a whole video. What? Hey. I'll be the bitch. Alright, we gotta do a um, thumbnail though. Okay. Wait, hold on. Come on. <laughs> okay, go <good. laughs> ahead. Anyway. Am. Okay, so. Maria, tell them how we get to this point. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all, we back. Um, so y'all want to know how we got to this point. Okay. So, y'all know I've been doing YouTube for a long time. Just, I never was consistent on what I wanted to do on YouTube. All that. But, yeah, I was never consistent. And then I had a friend... Y'all know who I'm talking about. I had a friend. I'm not going to say her name. I'm going to say W. I'm going to call her W. So me and W was like real, real close. And I thought W was like. D.W. looking ass bitch. <laughs> so I thought W was my sister or whatever. And I used to call her my mama. She used to call my mama mama. And I left. And we used to do YouTube together. And we planned on doing it big or whatever. And like. I introduced her to y'all and all that, but like I had moved, I had moved from up north. My freshman year, like the end of my freshman year, going my sophomore year, I moved from up north to out west, and I started going to Marshall. And it's just like our relationship got different. Like she uh, wouldn't call me as much, she wouldn't talk to me as much. Like our relationship got so different. So I was like, what? And then I met my dog, and yeah. And at first, we did not like each other. No, I didn't like her. She did like me. I didn't like we her. did not like each other. No. No, I did not like her. She did like me. I didn't like her. And then, she used to be like, she used to be out at the bus stop be like, who wanna go home with me? And me being goofy and funny. I was like, me, me, me. And I was like, haha, I'm just playing, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. And one day I went to her house. 
And after that, I started coming over there more and more and more. We started hanging out more. And we just grew so close. And so, like, I love the crap out of this girl. Period. The crack or the crap? Crap. You said crack. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Anyway. So, my foot keeps falling on my, my clothes bag. I don't get that. So, I guess W. Okay, so I was going with this boy. We go call him Elf. So me and Elf was going out for like, like a couple of months, and like everybody knew that I loved the Elf. Like everybody knew that. So when I moved out west and I started going to school in September, Elf was like, "Oh my God, you're not showing me no attention," and he was saying all that stuff. Like. He was like, you're not showing me your attention. You must be effing with the boys at school. Um, what boy, boy, I'm not messing with nobody. Cause I come home and go to sleep. Everybody personally know. Malia like to sleep. Like I like to sleep like too much. Like I sleep a lot. Like I just like to sleep. So I don't know what was his what, what was F issue, but he already knew that. But I used to do that. And then he was like, You wanna talk to me as much? So we used to argue, like every time we every time we call, we was arguing for a whole like a whole month straight. Yeah, All set him we was arguing. We never have a good conversation. We always argue. Oh, whatever. So, we decided to call it a... Well, yeah, we decided to call it a quit. We was like, we can't do this no more. Or we're going to be friends. So, my... um, So, W, my friend W. Let's get back to W. So, me and W was well, okay. my ex-friend W. Yeah, my ex-friend W. Okay. That's my bitch. Okay, my ex-friend W. So I was telling W and whatever, and she was like, "Gray, we just need to leave him alone. And if it's if it's going if he wants you, it's gonna come back." Like she was telling me, like y'all, when I said she was to help us with our whole relationship, y'all yeah, basically, was she was helping Malia get over the breakup, and she turned around and started being friends with the boy. And then, long story short, they fucked him. Period. And she was making a like, like y'all was telling like I like I loved this boy. Like we had like feelings was. No, y'all. Let me tell you how Grammy she is. She sent Malia a paragraph. About the shit, and expect her not to care because that's supposed to be her ex. But that's trifling. I don't care what nobody said. You're not supposed to go marry ex. I dare, I dare motherfucker go with my baby daddy that I'm friends with. My boy, my ex girl. Okay, yeah, yeah. She sent me a paragraph, and y'all know me being a person. Me, I'm like my feelings out. I'm W, like that's my close friend. Like I thought W as my family. Like we was like this. So I'm. Um, you could do it, but you could you could hear it in my mouth. I'm crying, like you could see it, like I was crying. Like yeah, she know that. She was like, "Don't cry, just tell me how you feel." And I stopped talking to her for a minute, and then we got back cool or whatever. And she was like, "They was best friends for four months." She never said there was a relationship. She never said they was talking. They made official, none of it. So um, I I get over it. I am be okay. I'm guilty. I get over it. Or whatever. So I took a minute. I got over it. And I had talked to my dog about it, and she was like, "Well, think." She was like, "Think of it like this." She was like, "You gotta think of both sides." And like, what you say again? Uh huh. Going with the boy, like I didn't know what was the background to when I text W. She lied and told me that her and that boy never went out. They was just talking. I really, I was telling Malia, like, well, just think about it as this. You got to think about both sides. Like, I feel like y'all should take breaks from y'all friendship, but at the same time, she wrong. But you need to tell her how you feel. You need to stop having your feelings and tell her how the fuck you feel. Because then she going to think that shit okay, and they going to have a whole relationship. She never told her how she feel they had a whole relationship, right? Yeah. We had a tool with the boy and everything. Because, like, I, um, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't see my baby daddy nowhere. Nowhere. So I no. My Hold on, so no, because like, like I put my feelings because I feel like I wanna, you know, I genuinely want her to be happy. But it's like I, I still have feelings for her, so it was like it was hard. Like I talked to my counselor at school, Miss V. I talked to everybody. I was trying to give Miss Rotten. Everybody was like F her, but me, I'm personally, I'm not finna just give up on you if somebody say I'm gonna stick by your side no matter what. When you call, I'm gonna be there. I have a big heart, and that's my problem, and that's what I need to work on. Bam. Yeah. So then his birthday came around in March. This is how we found this out. His birthday came around in March. And I saw the date. And then um I'm wait. I called. Um we were still talking, so I went up to the messages to make sure all of that. No, like basically I just what happened. W had posted him and said happy five month anniversary, but 
she told Malia that they were just best friends. Mm -hmm. But they were getting oh, wow. They were freaking oh, And I got told with W and I got told W and another one of my, my close friends. And yeah. And then my friend, my dog got into it with her. And my baby mama got into it with her too. Because they felt like I was such a good person. I don't deserve this. I felt like that too. And I'm a young child. After I got into it with them, I got a little depressed. And I used to cry a lot. Like, I used to think about, like, what's wrong with me? Like, what do I do to deserve this? Like, that was my friend. Like, I wanted to get her a chance. Like, I still, like, my heart was so big. Like, I couldn't let her go. Like, sometimes I still think about, like, what can I do? Like, maybe should I call her? Maybe should I check up on her? I know y'all, like, I know y'all like, well, that's just a friend. But y'all understand when you have, when you have, when you, when you grow with a person or that's your friend or your feelings and you feel like, and you feel like them, your family, it's hard to just say, I'm done with them today. You always going to have, you always going to feel a certain type of way about them. And that's how it was. And it was like, yeah, it was, I was sad. And then my grandma, um, it may have made a year in April that she died. And then after that, it just. She passed away. My yeah, passed away. And after that, it just like pain. Like I just, I just was so depressed. Like I wouldn't even talk to my dog and them like that. Like dad asked for me about relationship advice. Like I stopped, I stopped talking to people. Like I just disconnected myself from the world. I just used to listen to music and read books on Witcher Pad. Period, child. Make sure Witcher Pad you listen to me. Period. But I made Witcher Pad. I love y'all because them books be so good about them thug niggas. It First of all, they not giving they not giving us no money to put them okay, out here. Okay, okay. So we're not gonna do this. Okay, okay. I'm just saying. But anyway, yeah. And it's like mm -hmm. that really hurt my feelings and like I was disconnected from the world for a long time. I got depressed. Lately I've been feeling like fuck the world. And I disconnected from the world and like my baby mama, I wasn't even checking on her my baby. I wasn't doing nothing yet. I wouldn't even FaceTime. They'll tell me, like, I used to eat on FaceTime with them or go sleep on FaceTime with them. I would tell them, I'm going to call you back. It's like, I couldn't talk to them because it's like my trust issues got bad because it's like, I felt like I told her everything. Like, I felt like, like, the ball we had was everything. And you, you did this to me? Like, for real? I was so hurt. And yeah, like, I Where you was, at? <clears throat> okay, anyway, yeah. Me, my nails, me, my... Put your feet up there. Anyway, yeah. All right, y'all. Long um, story short, we just gonna make this home because y'all need to know her business. That's it. Just yeah. watch who the fuck you call your friend because these bitches do not be cut right. Uh -huh. A lot of times you gotta study yourself. And you don't have to fit in to feel like you 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 is somebody you you don't have to fit in you don't have to have friends a group of friends to make yourself feel self-love self-love comes from within and that's all the time this shit is creepy but and before you say before you can love another person you have to love, love yourself. yourself and before you can call another person your friend you got to be able to be alone by yourself and you you yeah, you gotta learn how to be by yourself. And everybody's not your friend for real. It don't matter if you knew them for five, seven years. I know, I knew this girl. I'm gonna say, I knew my other close friend for like That's three to three four years. Three. That's three and a half years. Yeah, three and a half years. And the stuff we didn't been through, terrible. And this, my dog right here treat me way better. Friends past other friends treat me way better. We only, and I haven't even knew her for that long. It's gonna be okay, girl. And it's like, like you gotta, yeah, you gotta watch who you call your friend, who you call your family, all that. Everybody don't deserve that title. And sometimes people not gonna be in your life forever. They they only in your life for a certain amount of time to teach you lessons and teach you this and teach you that. Yeah, at the end of the day, just be a boss ass bitch. Period. I'm sorry, y'all. I gotta call this girl, cause she called me while I was at the store. My phone had that. I said I was gonna call while I got the shot, but I never did. How she don't call nobody back. Anyway, mm -hmm. but me. Y'all wanna be my baby? Okay, anyway. But yeah. Watch who y'all call y'all friends. Watch who y'all bring around y'all people. Cause just watch who y'all be friends with. And she always. Because, um, yeah. 
Let's watch that. I uh, have to experience that. I'm extra. You must swear. Like we're gonna be doing more videos this fall. Yeah. So I just wanna tell y'all, cause I got something to add today, cause I knew this girl since I was in fourth grade. Mm -hmm. And my mom, and not my mom, because my mom would never like that. My uncle and them, he was just asking about her why she was here. They all asked about her still by my mom now. And she did some fucked up shit. Yes, and that's how, that's how it be. It's like you, you think a person gonna be there forever. Y'all say, oh my God, best deal. Oh my God, friend, we gonna get up party. Y'all get everybody we gonna do that label. Right, you can't name everybody that label. And I had to learn that the hard way. And the way I learned it was the worst way up. You when gotta, I, even when your mama tell you shit like that, you gotta experience it on your own to understand. Yeah, yeah, you gotta, um, yeah, when your mama be like, eh, if your mama said that's not your friend for real, baby, listen to you your mama. Let it go. Let it go. Because my mama told me that a couple of times about Yes, my mama told me, bro, many people told me my closest friends, not my friends for real, but guess what? I was, no, you know, they just got an attitude and it's gonna be okay. They forever my family. Blah, blah. I said that, bro, and look what happened. My was 16. Looking dumb, stupid. But now I learned from my mistakes. I grew. All that. And y'all. Hey, y'all. Relationships. We gotta talk that topic too. This is just an everything, an every hour of a video. So, um. And y'all can't get a relationship if you don't love yourself. You can't. Oh my god! I'm a yeah. Look at my auntie, my grandmama. Great mm. granny. I miss my grandma so, so much, y'all. I do too. That shit. That pain. I ain't even gonna get to talk about it. Because I don't want to get emotional on camera. I'm like, oh my god, you ugly when you cry. <laughs> okay. I got a funeral to go to y'all. It ain't even a funeral. It's a funeral. But anyway. Yeah, you can't be nobody else's friend. You can't be a relationship. You can't be no girlfriend if you don't take the time out for yourself and you don't love yourself. Self love, you gotta get yourself together. You gotta even if like even if you feel like you want the attention from boys, baby. No, no, you gotta be one that mirror smile and be like, you so pretty. And don't nobody gotta tell you pretty. You better, you better, baby. You better own your prettiness. Even if you're big, you better say I'm the big but sexy as hell privilege and don't nobody gotta be with you girl you you better to you love gotta yourself to and you gotta yourself before you can be with somebody yes else. and just know being by yourself doesn't make you alone or being by yourself doesn't make you a party poop being by yourself it just making sure yourself is okay take care of yourself that's the strong if if you by yourself, that's the strongest person you will ever meet. Guess what? She don't got no nigga telling her you can't do this, you can't do that. You she got a nigga putting her putting his hands on her. None of that. And you do everything by yourself. That makes you a strong black, right. Hispanic, white, whatever race you is. That makes you, make you strong. And by like, it make you really, really strong. Y'all, I'm so rude. I didn't call like three people since we've been since we even been in this video, but <laughs> I got things to do, people to talk to. You feel me? Yeah, I like money. Has that anyway? Anyway, yeah. Really, money? Anyway, I'm not gonna sit on this camera. I'm not gonna front for y'all and say, "Oh my God, I'm all I got my life together and I never cried. I never was depressed about no boy. I never did stupid stuff because that would be a lie, baby. I have did it, done that, been there." Yeah, I'm just trying to help y'all, y'all know. I could be y'all big sister. I'm just trying to help y'all because I understand, like, when I was depressed, I, I, she really helped me, like, also for real, for real stuff. Like, I thought, like, I thought it was over with, like, y'all, like, I'm a talkative person. I didn't, I haven't took a, I stopped taking videos on Snapchat. I started listening to Dark Clouds. I just was so hurt. Right away, who came her best friend? Oh God, y'all, that's my man. All right, baby, come this way. Okay, let me quit. He gonna sing to me in his film. Okay. I'm back. Go ahead, babe. But okay, babe. Oh, this is my money. This is our money. Like, say hi. 
and mm -hmm. depressed you don't you don't gotta cut yourself to be depressed you don't have to um like you don't have to cut yourself you don't have to look depressed you can be depressed and nobody knows and you never too young to be depressed y'all let me tell y'all like two days ago i was on this girl i don't even know this girl but i have a big heart y'all i was seeing this girl in life and she was like i'm so sad i'm depressed and I joined her laugh. I'm like, I don't, I ain't know her, but she looking like a little girl, like a little girl. And I'm like, hey, boo. She, hey, she, um, hey, Olivia, you're so pretty. Cause my Facebook name is Olivia. She, you're so pretty. All this other stuff. I'm all, oh, you're beautiful too. Like, what is the problem? Like, I'm, I'm just asking questions. Cause I want to know what's going on. Is she okay? Is she going to be okay? Cause a lot of stuff that leads to self harm. And yeah. <clears throat> I don't want nobody to have to go through that type of pain. And her sister in the background, like, well, you're too young to be depressed. Playing with her. She's sitting there crying. And I'm like, you're never too young. It's, it's never depressed too young. Depressed is not, it's not even about its age. That's why I be trying to explain. Like, it's about, it's like a feeling. Like, you can be 12, 10, and something tragic happen to you and make you go to depression. Or something happens to you or something you did can make you be depressed. Like, I'm going to say every grade, for example. You know, eighth graders get exposed. Eighth graders do grown things. So guess what? They have other people's, you know, not in their, and not in their ear. You know how you in eighth grade and you see everybody else going, you like, oh, well, it's the hype. I'm gonna do it. Oh yeah, you know how the boy hormones and you let them talk to you, get you let them get in your head and you do it. He exposed you and you get depressed. Like depressed is not basically what we try to say. If you being depressed, don't got nothing to do about your age. Excuse me, your weight, your looks. None of that. Anybody can be depressed. And when you're depressed, even when you feel like you don't want to talk to somebody, talk to somebody. Even if you got to write it down, let somebody read it. And even if you got friends and baby, they don't know you and they don't see that you're depressed, them ain't your friends, baby. Because, yeah, I saw I like, she knew it. She already knew that I was depressed. Like, y'all, this girl so great. She done called my mama, told my mama I was taking stuff. I'm like, oh my God, no, no. Yes, girl, y'all. She called my mama and everything. Like, she was so concerned about me, and I was, like, so happy. But it's, like, I still, like, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't want to be out of it because it's, like, like, I was just so sad about everything. And it's, like, everything that ever happened to me could bad in one. Like, you would think, like, you over this situation, and something else would happen to make you, you know, cry about it, think about it. Honestly. Are you overwhelmed? You don't just, your head don't just focus on one situation. And your man right tricks on you, cause you might, you might feel like you're okay today, and then tomorrow you'll be crying, so hurt. And it's just like, it be crazy, because it's, I don't know, it just be crazy. Like, when I went through my stuff, like, it's like, I laugh at my family face, I put on a smile. The whole time, like when they asleep or something, I will cry. Like I would get in the shower and cry my eyes out. My eyes would be red. And they'll just think because I wear lashes, like some like glue will get up in there. They wouldn't even think like I was depressed. But my friends, they knew because I just stopped. Like I just, like I said, I stopped connecting with the world. Like if everybody know that, everybody personally knew. Everybody personally knew I was outgoing and I always make people laugh. I'm always dancing. Okay, no how big I am. Girl, I'm getting the middle street. I'm going to dance. I'm going to act like a crackhead. Period. <laughs> Y'all, this is not funny. Yes, and everybody knew this. Like, I'm an outgoing person. Like, I'm loving. I'm caring. So, you would know when something wrong with me when I just start talking. Hello? Or you would know when I'm different, you know, or when something wrong because I shut down and I stop acting like I normally act. And that's how she knew. Hello? And that's how she knew. And she was like, at first, this is how she did it. The first time when I was depressed about it, I, um, she had called, she had told her mama, her mama called my mama, which I called her mama, my mama. Anyway, she called mom. She called her mom. Called my mom and was like, "You need to check on Malia. Like, Malia's not acting how she normally acts. She's not smelling how she normally smell. Her mom was worried about me too. Like, y'all yeah, sleep a lot, all of that. She does. And at first, I'm not gonna say I was in denial. I'm like, I'm not depressed. I'm just tired. I'm just tired. I'm just tired. And I just kept telling myself that, like, I'm not depressed. My mom asked me. She came home and talked to me. And I'm no, I'm not depressed. No, I don't know what they talking about. No, I'm not depressed. I'm tired because I be up all night. I'm tired. 
I was just denying it because I didn't want to label myself as depressed. The whole time, I was depressed. I was sad. And I just couldn't get it on my man. Like, y'all thought I was going crazy. Like, I told like, y'all start having dreams about what these girls. Really? And what they, they did I to me. And, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So then the second time, the second time she did it was just how she did. She was like, "Come on, Shay, so you're gonna be I was at my brother's house. Wait, it was my grandma, my grandma, my grandma death day came around. It finally made it here. And I was crying and I was so hurt. And they was like comforting me, telling me it's gonna be okay. And I was like, it's not gonna be okay. I was like, like baby, I was like, it's not gonna be okay. Like I was really hurt because me and my grandma was so close, but that's another story. So um yeah, and she was like, what happened? Like the next day or like a week after that, that we we called it a quit. Oh, it was an episode. Oh, <laughs> you told me when I when I got mad, when I got mad, when I was mad. Yeah. Okay. All right. So y'all, it was like a week after that. I wasn't gonna do it the day of, cause I ain't no petty bitch. But let me tell y'all, I got so fucking fed up. I was so mad, cause I'm like, what is wrong with you? And she just like, nothing. I'm just tired. I'm no, you're depressed. She kept telling me no. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just give her her space. She not ready for no friends. <laughs> Hey y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all, something's mentally wrong with me. I don't give a fuck. I just, I call her. Well, I feel like we shouldn't be friends no more. Click, sit the love here, man. I hope everything go well, but I don't want to be your friend no more. Da, 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 da. And it wasn't even that I didn't want to be her friend no more, y'all. Let me tell y'all, crazy. I just wanted her to see how valuable our friendship is without her being friends with them. Like, it was pissing me off because it's like. You you lost some friends that really wasn't friends from the jump if they could do that shit to you. And you gained me mm -hmm. and Jalea. Some people that could to obviously be there for you no matter what. Who could say it and actually prove it. Now who could say it and not stand on their ground ten toes behind her. And she needed to realize that. So after a couple of days later, I was singing that song in the bathroom. And I forgot I was mad at her and I accidentally sent it to her on Snapchat. So I texted her like, oh shit. Oh, I didn't mean to that to you. I tried to spam it. Then yeah, she was like, oh, okay. And then that morning she had sent me, she sent me something. What, what was it? She sent me something. I was like, um. No, this how we got to talk because of your mama. Your mama called my phone. No, that morning you texted me something. I swear that morning you texted me something. And I never texted you back. And then mama had, um. Mama had, um. Said something about her and I'm like we not friends no more. And my mama had called her and was like, "What?" She, she was like, "I don't care what you want to." I was like, "She was like, she don't care what me and Shy you got going on." You know you cannot find it. <laughs> I'm like, we got too many. We be on the phone texting each other. These yeah. kids finna piss me off. I'm finna get mad. I'm finna, Bro, get I'm finna go kill all the work cause my hair ain't good. Yeah, it be so funny. Anyway, I had texted her some. I don't even remember. And no, let me say how it went. She was like. She don't even want to explain them. When I'm sitting on the couch talking to my brother, baby mama, um, girl, listen to what Shawty said. And she was like, well, I'm going to tell you how I feel. And I hope everything, like, like she said, she was like, she hope everything go well. And I automatically cried because I was like, I'm so stupid because I'm pushing her away. And she's just so concerned about me. Now she don't want to be my friend. So that's when I was living down south. So then I came back home out west to my real home, my mama house. And, um, uh, we was talking to her. I was talking or whatever and um, I was like I miss my friend like I kept saying like I miss my friend and then I had called her I had called she called me you called me I my called mama me. called no we still wouldn't talk after that uh, after that after that no y'all after that I think I got over it and I sent her a quote that's when I started my quote Oh yeah, yeah. She I sent me a quote. You was like, "Good morning." Good morning. Good morning. All that. And she sent me a motivational quote, and it helped me a little bit. A little bit. It helped me a little. It bit. helps to know that when you wake up, somebody thinking about you. So, yeah. And that ev like, almost every day we do it to each other. Like if she don't do it, then I do it. Or sometimes we do it. We do. We think a lot. So sometimes we do it at the same thing. Yeah, she sent me a quote, and then we got on the phone. We was talking about random stuff again. And then her sister, her sister Asia was like, I thought that ain't the I know, I said, Grammatical business. 
And then I'm like, girl, she be like, she don't mess with me. I said, girl, that's going to be my dog or whatever. And it just like this. And then she was like, then I, then I said, then I said that I want to do YouTube again. I want to start over. I want to do YouTube again. I want to start over. And she was like, yeah, that's a good idea. You think you should start over all that. So then I was like, yeah, because I need to, I need to. She was telling me, like, it's going to be a new chapter. It's going to be different. Like, she was giving me stuff. So then that's when I had to say I want to start YouTube all over. I started making my, um, me a new banner and stuff. Like, I was deleting some of my videos, but then I kept it up because... Sometimes fans go back and watch it. So I just was like, forget. So then I got, I started getting sad again because it's like I was so really miss on um, what we had with those type of friends. Yeah, we, I'm gonna get my favorite. We're gonna end this video. Hey, I'm gonna get my favorite. We're gonna end this video. I feel like it's long. And I just want y'all to know, like, y'all gonna see the new intro I got. Yeah. Over. It's more food than us. My workout now. <laughs> so fat. I'm gonna put this in there too. Yeah, she want to do a mukbang all over. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know. And my dog, she helped me or whatever. You can say that. She helped me on my stage. And it's like every... I don't know. She helped me. I ain't gonna lie. Since I was like... It's like ever since they stopped being my friend. It's like I started learning things. Like I became a better me. We First of all, she learned how to read. No. <laughs> Go fast on my play with you. She learned how to put lashes on because them was twisted back, flipped over. Okay, let me see. Anyway, yeah, like, it's like when I let them go, I became a better me. A better Lily Coleman. Yeah, yeah. Period. Because, because. Lily Coleman. I got my Who's baby that? on my guy. Who's that? Lily Coleman. Lily Coleman. Lily Coleman. Lily Coleman. My, my name is Lily Coleman. Anyway. Oh, I don't know. Oh, we should do a story <laughs> tab on how I got to Lily Coleman. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, she helped me on my stage and stuff. Y'all, I, I just want to let y'all know I feel like I have ADHD. So, through every video, I'm going to just be doing random stuff. I just want to tell y'all that because, like, I'm going to crack it. No, I'm just Okay, okay, okay. Wait, y'all. I want y'all to, to get introduced to, to my, the person. Um, my baby mother. She's having my child. Yes, y'all can. You you can this ask. This is my thing. god. This is my god child. I don't care what nobody say. But I want y'all to get introduced to. <laughs> Period. And y'all, we making a YouTube video. Say hi to YouTube. Say hi YouTube. Show the baby. Show the baby. Show the baby. Come on. Ah, we gonna put that on YouTube. Julia, Julia, stop, stop playing. You playing. Look, show the baby. Oh show the baby. Look at the baby guys. Yes, guys. And yes, if y'all ask me all the question, like, how's that show? How's you the baby daddy? Just how you think I'm the baby daddy. Girl, no, she a bird. I remember, we gon' it's this the third member. Y'all, and she, we finna have a family. It's gonna be the Coleman family. We gonna have a YouTube. Y'all gotta subscribe to our YouTube. I'm gonna make us an intro and stuff. Y'all, what she be cute if she named her baby? Coleman, I said mm -hmm. her last name. The last name should be Coleman. <laughs> we can all make a little family. All right, y'all, for real. We can make another video after this because I'm bored and I don't know what else to do. We love y'all. Miss y'all already. Like my best of you, Sam.